Hey guys, welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. And this episode's brought to you by Click It or Ticket. Just buckle your safety belt. It takes Come you like on. three seconds. One, two, three. Boom. Done. Not dead. An international scale chest puffing schoolyard round of what you gonna do about it has ended with Russia refusing to allow American astronauts to accompany cosmonauts to the International Space Station. It kind of went like this. Hey Russia, um, stop trying to aggressively annex Crimea. Lots of people in Ukraine don't want you to do that and honestly, your land grab kind of unnerves us. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Uh, well, we're gonna hit you with a bunch of sanctions and NASA's gonna refuse to work with your space agency. Except for hopping rides to the International Space Station. We still need you guys for that. What you gonna do about that? We're gonna laugh hearty Russian laughs and refuse to take you to the International Space Station, resulting in an entirely Russian space station crew effectively turning it into Russia in the sky. We're calling it Sky Russia. Okay. This Russian-American rocket carpool buddy system would cease in 2020. After that, NASA will have to find alternate means to ferry up to the ISS, which could prove itself to be pretty problematic since NASA decommissioned the space shuttle program back in 2011, which I still think is stupid, and even though it's something I have no control over, I refuse to get over it. Oh yeah. Now right now, Russia's taxi to space costs 60 million dollars per American astronaut. Mm. The uplifting aspect of all of this is that all the money can be redirected to one of the many private companies jumping into the space exploration game. So even though Russian-American relations continue to deteriorate, we need not worry too much about getting up to the shared space station. But Russia's threats even go a step further as they indicate that they just might abandon the space station program altogether after 2020, which would end a symbolic relationship of togetherness that was our tightest bond after that whole uh, Cold War thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I've heard of it. Russian components aside, the ISS could still function, with the likes of US, Europe, Japan, and Canada sticking around to operate the thing. It's complicated, but doable. And should be done. The ISS is our jumping off point into the great beyond. The knowledge that could be reaped from that is too important to just let the thing float around in orbit forever. Get back on board and send US shuttles to space. Come on. Take some pride. If we don't go to space, who will? Very upset about our lack of pride in our space program. So much so that I forgot to wear an undershirt and you can you see okay? my nipples. Oh, look at that. Let's name them, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna say Frank and Jank. Hey guys, how do you think America should handle this whole space debacle? Let us know in the comments down below. And of course, click that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Click this annotation, head on over to sourcefed.com. Speaking of clicking, don't forget to click it or you're gonna get a ticket. Ooh. Click it or ticket. Nice. Nipples. Jank, are you okay? <laughs>